。世界脉动，澳洲视角，欢迎收看 A B C 澳洲留学广播电台，您的第一手 Visa 新闻平台。Hello， 各位观众朋友，大家好，我是靠，我是以凤。OK， 呃，今天我们请到以凤来这边，我们也特别请了一些嘉宾在啊、呃、Victoria 那边，然后今天会跟大家做一些 presentation。对 ，OK， 对，以凤，你今今天要介绍什么样的东西给大家呢？哦、oh, ，其实我今天蛮紧张的，因为我今天要介绍一个非常重要的这个大学，就是 Deakin University。我相信它的名气是蛮响亮的。Oh, okay. 那是是是同时呢，我们也约了他们的那个学院的 Deakin College 的这个经理呢。一起来介绍、嗯。那么，首先为什么我们会选择墨本呢？因为其实虽然这个去年呢、哦，大家都知道这个墨本的这个 COVID 的这个情况呢不是太好，但是呢，还是很多很多的学生在询问墨本那边的学习。嗯、啊，因为本身这个教育质量上面呢，这个墨本是 Number One。呀、yeah, ， Victoria 啊，我们也不能说 Not One。One of number one. One of the number one. Okay, one of number one. <笑>我们现在都是尽量不得罪哈。嗯、那反正就是它的这个质量是蛮高的。所以呢，这个时候呢，我们今天就刚好，我们好好来介绍一下。还有，因为今天要介绍的这些科系呢，是比较对，是什么科系？比较比较特呃，比较硬的，就是、嗯、呃，我今天是特别约到那个墨尔本的他们那个健康学系的 faculty 的 professor。哦，所以他、okay. 他他已经不是属于 marketing 的。的领域的，所以我觉得这个，嗯、因为我们今天想要介绍是跟这个做专家级，要介绍跟这个 health 这个健康方面的科系，所以呢，我觉得还是需要一些比较权威的人来讲哈。那我们就话不多说，我们今天先先先介绍一下，我第一个特别来宾是这个。呃、uh, ，Deakin College 的 Marketing Manager Miss Susie Wu。嗯嗯嗯嗯 ，OK。你要你要 Hello 一下吗？呃、uh, ，好 ，Hello Susie。Hi everyone, how are you? Thank you for inviting me. Hello, Hello Susie, thank you for coming our program. OK、yep.。呃，第二个我要介绍的是，他抬头很多哦。他的抬头第一个是这个呃、uh, ，International Coordinator Deakin University 嘛，对不对？啊、uh, ，International and Partnership。Faculty of Health， 那、啊、就是这个 Miss Lin Zhang。Hello， 哎、hey, ，How are you？ <笑> OK OK，So、okay. okay. 那我们今天会用英文的方式了，好，那当然，那我们可能就把这个整个 shift to Susie。So Susie， if you could、uh, start to、uh, introduce yourself， introduce Deacon， and、yeah. you take on the show、yes.。Thank you。Thank you very much、um,。Can I start my Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, we we can see Susie now. You 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 very warm there, <laughs> and we, we are, and in Taiwan now it's so cold here. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, you guys are looking at me with different seasons, but it is funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. That means we are in a glo globalization world. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll, I'll start over from my part then.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Thank you very much for inviting me. I feel really honored. And my name is Suzy Wu. I'm the marketing manager at Deakin College. Yes. Um. I look after the recruitment from North Asia countries and also international. So, uh, for the next fifteen minutes or so, I would like to give you an overview of Deakin College and Deakin University, and what pathway means to everyone. And how do you actually get into study、uh, your dream course、um, between science and psychology in the Faculty of Health at Deakin Uni? So first of all, why Deakin?、Um, I actually thought about it, how do I do this slide? There's so many good things about Deakin. I won't let you know for the five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't stop thinking. There's so many good things I want to say.、Um, but I think ranking is the one that parents and students and you guys looking at. When you choose a country, a city, and a work from program to study,、uh, study abroad. So, but I have to say that being working in this industry for over 15 years, I need to remind you that we have to look at ranking in a very smart way. We、mm. can't blindly look at what is this ranking, what is your ranking. It's too broad because individually, you're going to study one course. We、mm. care about a career and how satisfied is the course, and what I'm what I'm going to learn from. The course and 
and how you teach. These little things are ma matters to every individual student. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I outlined some of the really good um, good point that I'd like you to take away from today's presentation about Deacon. Sounds so good. In terms of the general ranking, top one percent uh, of all universities in worldwide. That's from the Shanghai ranking, World University rankings. Wow. And wow. we are very young. Hmm. We are only under fifty years old, and we we all only oh, really? do that. Very okay. Proud of it. Yes. Yes. Only fifty under fifty years old young but university. And we're talking about health, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, the nursing program, twenty eighth in the world. Wow. Um, sports science number yes. one in Australia, number three in the world. Mm -hmm. And obviously, um, education remains twenty seventh in the world. And the most importantly, the student satisfaction level, non consecutive years, number one. Wow. Yeah. So that, that's, that's why we find her. <laughs> that's why we find Deacon. Know. Yes. Yeah, Victoria, state of Victoria, for nine years in a row, highest level of student satisfaction, student satisfaction mm -hmm. from the Australian Graduate Survey. Yeah. So this is some rankings that you need to really know and look at. If you compare to other universities, this is what you need to ask. Mm -hmm. Not just a general ranking. What is the ranking? It is too general for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's Deakin College? Basically, Deakin College is the pathway partner for Deakin University. Means if your academic or English level haven't met the direct entry into Deakin Uni, then you can study with us, which is Deakin College. So we provide diploma courses, which is we call the bridging course. The eight units, which is the same as the Deakin University first year. So you study eight units here, and then you jump into the second year of the bachelor. Time-wise, you will not lose any time, uh, but you know we give you a bridging course to actually sink you into the study mode in the westernized culture. So mm. that's the pathway to be understood. And obviously, Deakin College. I have to say, I've been working with the. I've worked with other universities before, and I have to say, in terms of the local students and international students ratio, Deakin College and Deakin University did such a great job. Oh. Thirty-five percent of our students are local students. And sixty-five students, sixty-five percent of the students are international students. Mm -hmm. And within the sixty-five uh, percent of the international students, we have forty. We have students from forty-two different different nationalities. So, make, which makes when you study with us in doesn't matter online or on campus, you walk around in the campus, you can see such a great mix of all the nationalities. Mm -hmm. So there, there will be one, no, never there will be one dominated nationality you see on campus. That is a very good mix. Very good, very good. Yeah, it's very important for international students, even for local students, to study in such an environment. Mm. And uh, location, okay, Deakin Uni actually has five campuses. Burwell campus is the big, the biggest physical campus, and the second campus have a have a guess what that is. It's the cloud campus. Oh really? Oh. Correct. Oh. Yeah. So, um, when the pandemic hit last year, uh, when everyone's panicking, you know, how students gonna study? Actually, Deakin's already way ahead because cloud campus has been so mature already. It's so advanced wow. in teaching online. Oh. So the second one is actually cloud campus. So that means that means student can study online. online. No problem yes. anymore. Okay, oh, cool, cool. Okay. very good, very good. For a long, long time, a uh, cloud campus. Yeah. So we have two campuses in Geelong and another one in regional places in Victoria called Warrnambool. Ooh, so yes. I didn't outline the, the, the other two because Deacon College we deliver uh, courses in only the three campuses. But okay. keep in mind, Deacon University also has a cloud campus and a Warrnambool campus. Okay. And what about um, Geelong? Your your Geelong right? campus is quite famous because that's a regional area, right? Geelong. Yeah, two of them, correct. Yes, right yeah, 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 yeah. Also, actually, as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I won't play the video, but I'll share the link so you can have a look about Victoria and Melbourne later. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so beautiful. Quick enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is so beautiful. So this is where we are. Um, on the map of Australia, we are probably at the bottom. So this is Melbourne. Uh, so just let you have a general idea of where we're situated. Mm -hmm. so if, if for this is Melbourne CBD, uh, the biggest campus is here. It's about 20 to 20 minutes drive in good traffic. Um, and the two Geelong campuses are here. It's about a 55 minutes train line 
right from CBD to the two campuses. Geelong. This campus uh, is so beautiful. The waterfront, you can see the coast in the classroom. Mm. It is so beautiful. Mm. You have to be there to see that. Is, is the Melbourne campus uh, passing Box Hill? Yes. So okay. Box Hill is somewhere in the middle. Around here. All oh, right. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You go through the campus uh, in a, a borough campus, take students to take grocery shopping, I guess. That's yeah. pretty convenient. Okay. It's very close. It's just, you can drive from borough to Box Hill. It's probably 10 to, it's less than 10 minutes. Five okay. Six minutes. Okay. No right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Box Hill is the sort of, you know, Asian yes. region. Yep. <clears throat> so our program in a nutshell. So what do we provide? So we provide three suites of the course. We provide a foundation, diploma, and MQP. Today, I'm only going to be talking about diploma because we're talking about health science. Yes. So what is diploma? What is diploma sitting in the whole education uh, diagram? So this is where diploma sits, which means if you complete year 12, uh, you should be eligible to study our diploma academically. Yep. Obviously, you have to meet English as well. I'll talk about it in a, in a, in a minute. Mm -hmm. So, Diploma of Health Science is one of the popular programs at yes. UK, uni and UK College. That's we right. We actually, actually have the most number of local students studying the Diploma of Health Science. Oh, wow. Okay. So, on completion of this eight unit program, you are eligible to get into the second year of the program listed here. Obviously, Nutrition Science and the Psychological Science. Uh, Ling will talk about this in a minute. I'll be focusing on the diploma program. So how, how do we understand that? Yep. Uh, the entry requirements is Australian year 12 mm -hmm. um, well, academically. And you, you will have to meet English requirements, which is 5.5 hours with no band below 5.5. Okay, so how do we under understand the diploma of health science? So at Deakin College, all our diplomas, we have 10 diplomas. All our diplomas are high diploma. What I meant by high diploma is completion of our diploma, which is the eight academic units, you're jumping into the second year of the bachelor, selected the bachelor straight away. So some other universities here will have diploma, advanced diploma, search for. These could be a vocational education, which means they are not classified as high diploma. They are in a vocational education. Mm -hmm. What you learn from the <coughs> vocational education, they're very practical units. Yep. But we provide academic units. That mm -hmm. age units are exactly the same as the first year bachelor. So oh, in terms great. of what you learn, you are not worse off. You're learning the same thing, but okay. in a much more smaller classroom environment. Because we try to help students to finish diploma and get on to the university in second year. Mm -hmm. So there are in total 23 units in the Diploma of Health Science. But you will be only study eight academic units plus one or two zero credit points. So these two credit, uh, zero credit points will not be charged. Uh, it's sort of uh, uh, academic integrity units that students must achieve at, at their leisure time. And um, depends on what bachelor you want to do in the future, at the time of enrollment, we will have staff help students to select the best eight units to complete. Mm. Mm. And this, this yeah, is only for international students? Student? Sorry? Is this okay. only for international students? International oh, for local as well. Okay. So for local student, what kind of school they are uh, they can be applied for from the diploma program? Our entry requirements will be the same. Just, just a. Oh. Oh, year twelve. Oh, yeah, 12. Okay. okay, you okay. just finish a yeah. year twelve. So oh, okay. Same for local and international. Okay. 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 Obviously, local students they don't have to worry about the English. Oh, they do actually. VC they have to have um, English twenty. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Okay. They should have that. Yeah. And how about the overseas? How about the students if they found an overseas? For example, in Taiwan, they finish at year twelve. Then they they are able to apply the diploma straight away with you. Yes. So I think with the Taiwan, um, your high school is called it's called senior middle three, right? Yeah. Uh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So senior middle three, uh, with B or sixty percent average. Mm -hmm. would be academically eligible. Oh, oh and okay. what about Hong Kong if they like a form five or form six? Uh, Hong Kong, they need to uh, get form the, six. The, the DSE, they have to be the Hong Kong DSE. DSE, yeah, DSE. Achieve, I think uh, would be minimum 
four of them units minimum eight or ten. Oh, mm. okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's not really high, to mm. be honest. Yep. Uh, that's mm. because we're confident that the eight units we teach in there, or we should be able to bring the students academically, you know, to the level to the university of the university. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's yeah. Our so good. Be met five yes. Five five with no bank below five point five. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And we have three intakes. Yep. Um, June intake, March, March intake, June intake, and October intake. Yeah. Mm. To get we're more flexible in terms of intakes each year for students to have a flexible entry. Mm -hmm. And obviously, with the eight units, students can choose to fast track, which means complete the eight units within eight months, or do oh, the wow. normal track, which means they do three units first of trimester, three units second trimester, and then the remaining two in the last one. And okay. then the program will be completed within 12 months. 12 months, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, good. Very, Very flexible. flexible. So mm -hmm. once they've done that, with um, credit average 50%, which is a pass mark, there is no hurdle. Mm -hmm. So once they complete with a pass mark, they get into the second year of the selected bachelor, nutrition science, psychological science, etc. Et, et yep. Yeah, so this is how the diploma sits in the whole um, uh, a structure of the education di um, hierarchy here. Mm -hmm. And of course, obviously, and apart from <clears throat> academic uh, support, we have other extra support for international students, language support, um, a, a, a mentor uh, programs, student learning advisors, DUSA. DUSA means Deakin University Student Association. Ah. To, um, yeah, it's just, just a voice of the student. And, and again, student counselors for students if they are really, you know, have a, a the missing home or any other factors <laughs> might affect students, you know, performing yep. well, yep. have a counselor to, 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 to speak with them. So yeah. these are our ex extra support that we, 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 we put in place to help students learn better and progress better so they can get into the second year of the university. Mm -hmm. you could please do remind them you need to use all the facilities we have. <laughs> <laughs> If you think your 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 math is not as good as you thought, you go and talk to us. We have we have we have we have teachers to actually you know just improve your math. If you think your English grammar or speaking isn't good, we have you know dialogue dialogue uh, uh, sessions for students to to improve English. Oh, very good, so we very all good. We have these you know services provided here in Deakin College, and obviously accommodation. Wow. Um, hmm. On campus accommodation, the same as university as well. Mm. Is it a com um, is it yeah. a accommodation on the campus? On campus, yeah, very what? safe. Whoa! Oh, this is in Burwood. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, campus as well. in Geelong, we have a Geelong campus as well. Mm. On campus accommodation. Okay. Oh, so the student can just live in the campus. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and obviously, with the facilities um, in DK Uni, they all shared with DK College students, so they won't feel that oh, I'm isolated. No, you study in DK. We don't separate DK College or DK Uni. You are DK DK student. Yeah. Everything will be shared with you as well. Mm. Yeah, they even have medical center. And uh, that's pretty much it from my part about the diploma pathway and DK College. Yeah. Uh, people, do you have any questions um, about the, the diploma pro program here? Uh, we, we probably need to link together maybe later on we can ask the question. The, the reason today why we focus on the Diploma of Health Science or even we say Diploma of Science, whatever, because uh, we can see just during the COVID-19 issue, the global change. Mm. And uh, we can see the complementary medicine always very popular, but even more popular these two years. So in Taiwan, not only in Taiwan, but the anyway, global, we are yeah. currently in Taiwan, we can see is that there are many health supplement industry, they very popular business, very, very big. Mm. And it's all, all the billionaire there. So the student, if they study nutrition or nutritionist or a similar course, it, they, they can earn a lot of money. They have a uh, uh, the potential uh, is great. Potential yeah. future in the in the future. Okay, and also, I googled uh, Australia's uh, uh, health industry. Also, I find oh, this is also very popular. You know, in, in these two years, in twenty twenty, they the industry grow up over five billion. Wow. Yeah. So um, this is this is a number make me think. Oh, if the student is looking <clears throat> for the future job and. Uh, 
they 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 are consider about uh, the f- future career then is a time that's why they, they keep asking me oh even i want to uh, study nutrition or or, or or psychology we we will talk about later today mm. yeah and then when they google it they always find deacon university because uh, because it's ranking it, number one uh, yeah ranking number <laughs> one and also the sport exercise science you reckon because you can see a number is quite demand that that's why i i, I think oh what what happened about deacon university or college then i have to call them and say Hey, do you want to introduce your program? Because uh, uh, the, the, the parent or student is looking for this. That, okay. That's the reason. So maybe maybe now, yeah, now we can we can invite. Okay, Lin. invite Lin to yeah, yeah, yeah. start her yeah. PPT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We start. I'll, I'll just share the PPT, darling. Okay. Yeah. Study health. Okay. Can you can you can you see see the PPT? Yeah, we can see the PPT. Yeah. Yeah, we can oh, see right. PPT. Yes. Um, yeah, let me just let me let me just share this again. I think Ling is on mute. Uh, huh. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, see, I think I'm controlling the PPT because you already closed it. Oh, are you controlling now or? Yes, yeah, I'm controlling now. Oh, okay. Mm. Are you happy for me to come to it? I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. All yours. All right. Hello, Annie. Well, thank you very much for inviting me today. Yes. Hello, Lin. Mm. Yes. Mm. So, uh, my name is Lin. I'm the international coordinator from Faculty of the House. Yes. And Deakin University. So, my background is biomedicine. Um, so I'm, I feel very fortunate I could work for Deakin University because Deakin has a such great program for health. Mm-hmm. So is everyone able to see my screen, study health screen? Yep, yep, we can see that. Okay. Yep. Mm. So why why is health? So in Australia, government reports that the expect job growth by industry wow. between now and the 2022 is we're expecting to grow about more than 20, um, 250 jobs in next in next couple of years for health and social sciences. So the in the, the actually the jobs and the industry is booming in the next few years. And the Susie already in touch that um, for Deacon for Deacon's house. We have a really high work ranking. We have a, start, a state of art teaching facility. We have strong industry engagement, which we are able to offer and placements, uh, mm. industry placements for our students. So if a student's interested in doing double degree in house, we offer double degrees in four years. So single degree is three years and double degree for four years. Mm. Example is a student who wants to study nursing but also want to study psychology. They can study double degree and finish with a psychology and nursing degree in four years. Oh. For health, international students are wondering, oh, health is so hard with all this English language. It's so hard. Um, so we have our own faculty and student support to help our students to study health, health courses. So a part of what they can we offer um, international student support, we have our own faculty support as well. Mm. Mm. Um, Susie has already in touch about outstanding academics on the three campuses. So I'm not going to um, talk about too much up here, but please feel free to ask questions. So what we have a very proud is our exercise sports science and the nutrition science. It's the, it's the school is ranked number one in Australia and number three in the world. Mm. Our nursing is in the top 28, and the public health in the top um, top 20, um, public health and the psychology are top 100 in the world. Um, and you know, uh, public health and the psychology have been so uh, such a hot topic um, during the COVID 19 mm. and global pandemic. Mm. Just an overview of what we offer. 
Um, we offer online health, um, health sciences, psychology, nursing and midwifery, medicine, nutrition, dietetics, exercise, sports science. So while we say health and health sciences, but actually we have so many different disciplines for students to choose. Um, I have a, job, a quick pathway from Deakin College to Deakin University. But since Susie have already covered that, let's move up to the next um, next slide. Yvonne suggests me to talk about um, psychology and study psychology at Deakin. Um, so psychology at Deakin, we offer three years program that we call Bachelor of Psychological Science. After three years, students can go to fourth year. Fourth year can be orders that are based, um, based in research and the coursework um, we call graduate diploma. Mm. And then the students can apply for the two years master degree and become accredited um, clin uh, clinical psychologist mm. in Australia. As we know that um, Deacon is a very strong with industry industry um, engagement. So that's why we offer 140 hours work uh, experience in under in undergraduate degree for psychology. So students um, interested in psychology and the interest studying health, um, they can. What I suggest is they go and ask whether that the, the university they interested in study or whether they offer uh, industry um, placements mm -hmm. because not every university like Deakin we are so strong at placing students into the placement. Um, so, um, psychology courses, we offer Bachelor of Psychology, Graduate Diploma of Psychology, and a Master of Psychology. And the way I also want to emphasize this is if students who finish undergraduate degree, whether it's in psychology or not in psychology, we offer um, Graduate Diploma in Psychology. Um, it's a one year study, the students study Graduate Diploma in psychological science at Deakin, and they can then apply for the first psychology study in Australia. So they don't have to complete three years undergraduate degree. They can straight go to the first um, um, graduate diploma of psychological science in Australia and study at the Deakin University. Yeah. If it sounds confused, yeah, students can contact Yvonne and contact me directly in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Lin, I have a question here now. Is a uh, yes. usually meet many students already is overseas rigid psychologist or they finish the bachelor of psychology in in overseas like uh, before we have a Brazilian or, or other countries. So these kind of students sometimes we feel very headache because we didn't know where which course they should join at the moment into Australia. So these kind of situation, the student we just gave you his uh, graduate certificate and the uh, transcript, or, or we see which part of period he can link to and become the richest uh, Australian psychology in the future. If the students already finish undergraduate degree in psychology, mm. they're going to they can apply for the graduate diploma of psychology at the best. Mm. Mm straight away mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and study two years master or doctor then yeah that, and then study another two years of psychology and must in master or they can apply for the doctor of psychology straight away okay. doctor psychology <clears throat> is the four students uh, finish fourth year and they can apply for the doctor of psychology doctor of psychology is a four year it's actually combined two years master and two years PH, PhD related wow. course. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So yes. they will be qualified as a doc, uh, as a doctor, such uh -huh. as a PhD. Mm. So the qualification is same level as a PhD. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm. So we're, 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 we are very proud that Deakin has very strong accreditation with Australia Psychology Board. So um, with that, I 
a kind of registration. Um, students, you know, it's such a strong qualification for students to work in Australia or in any other country, such as Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, New Zealand, and the UK. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. So, um, so I quickly touch about majors. So why we are talking about majors? Because because Deakin University is the only university in Victoria we offer majors in undergraduate degree. Mm. Mm. Um, so students can choose um, forensic studies, child and family, and organizational studies. Um, so we provide such um, um, good specialized majors um, in psychology um, for undergraduate degree. So yes, please remember we are the only one university in Victoria offer majors in undergraduate levels in psychology. Yep. So about the career students, what career um, what's the career outcome for me after fin- I finish um, um, psychology in undergraduate degree? Mm-hmm. So there's actually there's a lot of career um, um, outcomes and for the students. They can be a life counselor, a work counselor, a mental health counselor, and children protection worker, community support officer, a family counselor. A student can also go into companies like human resource, human resource department, mm-hmm. marketing and the market, market research. So there's a quite a lot of jobs for students to do um, after finish undergraduate degree before they decided to be a qualified psychologist and go into a master degree. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm now step into um, for nutrition. So before nutrition, I want to talk about health and the food. Now these days, um, we know more and more the people who pay more attention on health. Yes. So if we look at the cause of death, around the world, we actually find that um, more than half of people actually died um, because of heart disease, mm. diabetes, and the cancer. Mm. That all related with chronic disease, mm. not immediate death. Mm. Which food and the health play a major part on that? Mm. Um, and also, um, Yvonne, you just mentioned about um, the companies, um, food companies um, making billion dollars uh, a year. Mm. But you're actually right. Um, so the research showing that there's a more than 3,000 registered food companies wow. currently in the world. And they are, um, of these companies, they do make a billion dollars profit each year. Mm. And the people also miss about um, um, people also miss about uh, miss about the food that we actually food food security food policy that really important and play a big part in the food industry. So we are not talking about food companies, which you can see from my slides with Coca Cola and Nestle, Mars, and um, Kellogg's or this company. But we also think about how we transport, produce, and make sure the foods are safe to eat. Yes, that's something we need to join um, uh, conversations in all days. Yeah. So, what students can study Bachelor of Nutrition Science at Deakin? Um, we focus on food science, and we also fo- focus how the food impact on human. So we teach students about nutrients and the nutrient metab- metabolism effects on humans. Um, mm-hmm. People um, say, ah, oh, Bachelor of Nutrition Science, I didn't see food in the title, but actually nutrition science combine both food and we, um, we study ingredients about food, but also we study how each of different in- ingredients um, um, play a big impact on human mm. after we're eating them. So we have a um, state of art facility. You can see the first picture, um, which we teach students, um, we teach students to learn about food. 
So, and the pig picture is a uh, we have a student, like a very modern kitchen for students. For example, eggs can produce different nutrients while we cook in different way. Mm. Boiling eggs, fried eggs, or we put egg into the cake. Mm. Actually, we are all eating eggs, right? Mm. But they play different kind of effects on human. Mm. So the second picture is the laboratory. We analyze food. Mm. For example, we analyze the uh, um, uh, bags of chips. What what actually um, are involved with our students? I study them under the microscope. Mm. Um, a piece of steak. Mm. How long the steak has been um, produced um, up from the farmer? Whether there are any microorganism mm. are surviving a piece of steak of meat. Mm. So students study under the microscope. Mm. And the, the third pictures we also encourage students um, to analyze the food, their nutrients. So they try to find the what proteins, energies, or what are the green ingredients in the final product. And um, that is quite related to, related to dietitians. Mm-hmm. And we know, um, we know, um, doesn't matter how healthy the food is. If, if it doesn't taste nice, well, consumer buy it. Mm. And if you want to count, if it tells, oh, this one tastes very good. Mm. Uh, oh, this one is very healthy, but it doesn't taste good. You think you <laughs> will buy it? <laughs> so, uh, so the bottom two pictures is we also um we also embed a, a full sensory subjects in our bachelor of nutrition science. Teach students that sensory is also very important. Um, when we join the food production. So um, we have a DECA has a very strong professional recognitions. Um, so we have, we, it's recognized by Australia Nutrition Association mm-hmm. and the students can apply um, for student membership as soon as they enroll in Bachelor of Nutrition Science in, at DECA University. Mm-hmm. A student graduate from the university, they can apply to become registered associate nutrition nutritionist with Australian Nutrition Society, mm-hmm. Hong Kong Nutrition Association, and the UK Association for Nutrition. So to allow our graduates can work um, in different countries. Mm. 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 Okay. We have a strong in industry placements. We place mm-hmm. students uh, into different companies, food companies in Australia. Mm. Um, in here, we say we have 100 hours for students, but actually, if the students complete the first 100 hours and they really enjoy it, have achieved really good marks, they can do another 100 hours there in their final years. Ooh. Uh, Lin, can I please know yes. your uh, nutrition program? Is it which campus in Deakin University? Uh, we offer at the Burwood campus. Burwood campus Burwood, yep, in the city. Oh, the city. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. And uh, what about a psychologist uh, program? Psychology, we offer both, both at Geelong campus and Burwood campus. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I emailed them, yes. All right. Yeah, so the student go there, then after they finish the course, they will get a, if that's Bowen campus, that's two years, four or five visa. Yeah. And uh, if this Geelong campus is three years. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ling. Talk. Mm, yeah. No worries. Yeah. Um, as you, if all you mentioned my title, um, the department we're working is international partnerships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a very strong partnerships um, with our um, overseas partnerships. So uh, our partners across Netherlands, Asia, and the USA. Mm-hmm. Before uh, the COVID-19, the pandemic, our students actually can choose uh, and study tour as a one of their subjects mm. to go to, to go uh, our partners um, um, in overseas. So you can say our students have a, we have students based in the Netherlands, they have to go to the USA, they have to go to some South Asia countries mm. to understand how food 
produced in different countries. Mm. Um, and again, we, we will have a lot of questions about career outcomes. Yep. So there's a six different industry areas students can work after they graduate. They can work as a cons consultant in cons um, to do with counseling, mm -hmm. and they can work in public health nutrition. Yes. When we talk about public health, so um, food, we know food uh, affects on diabetes and heart disease, right? Mm. So people have a heart problem or diabetes, they have to be very careful on eating. Yeah. And, but diabetes and heart disease and has been a, like a, re a real big problem across many countries, impact on many, many people. So that is not a just a, a, a disease, um, or we call some people sick. Mm -hmm. Why it impacts on a, a population, we call it the public health. So mm -hmm. what nutritionists will uh, do, they not just design food, a uh, food policy or for one person, they actually design for whole society and community. Mm -hmm. So that's what we call public health nutrition. Mm -hmm. So um, we know media has played a big part now these days, um, yes. and we need some professionals that are talking real, real accurate information. That's mm. why now media and marketing they really need the people with a professional background. Um, so nutritionists can also can find the jobs in media and marketing field as well. Yep. And um, food industry, very obviously, they need a lot of nutritionists, food scientists, which our course already cover. And if if if, if students interested in education and research, so they are this where they can look for. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And um, just to bring a couple of example of our Deakin alumni, so you can see. Um, Dr. Sonia Kukuja, she is one of our Deakin graduates. Mm -hmm. And then she studied PhD, she studied master and a PhD at Deakin University. Then teaching into teaching into our nutrition program. Then she was headhunted by Freedom Food. Freedom Food is a really big company in Australia. And we can see a lot of food that they produce actually produce and sell in Australia supermarket. Mm -hmm. uh, um, <clears throat> so what really impressed is about what she did she created a nutrition team mm. that team that for of food science for, um, with, um, with department for science dietitian sensory packaging and marketing um, so we can see as a nutritionist um, they have a different roles they can do and play mm. in the food industry That's very interesting mm. Mm. For, for science, they're actually sourcing a different kind of ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, so we know Western people, they um, want to have a quick but nutrient breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, that's why muesli and muesli and muesli bar introduced in Western country very early. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, at least different kind of, uh, different at least 10 ingredients in, in one muesli bar. Mm -hmm. And the food scientists need to source different ingredients, analyze them, whether mm -hmm. they meet Australia full standard and the policies, mm -hmm. whether they are healthy. So they develop something it's uh, healthy, so we call a nice healthy, and the consumer, consumer will definitely buy it. We call food development and food innovation. Yep. And there we need a sensory team to test, to test them whether they are um, whether they are acceptable by consumers, whether they are, um, they are tasty or not, yeah. right? Yeah. And also we have a dietitians um, to, do mar to do research and market research, see different, how different kind of people like kids or people, people with, with diabetes or heart disease, what's the effect the impact on their health after eating this, after eating the new, new, new product. And we, the, the, the team had to work with and the company's marketing to make sure there's a correct information on the packaging so the, and to do with the marketing as well. Um, so um, a lot of students have been asking me, uh, what, 
what people, what I do, uh, what nutritionists do. So nutritionist is a title, but they can do, they can work in many different roles and areas. And um, we also have students develop their own companies, juice mm. companies. <clears throat> yes. We also have students working for football club. They provide uh, dietitian, uh, dietics. Uh, uh, advice for our football players. Yeah. And then we also have a policy advisor working for the Department of Health and the Human Services um, mm -hmm. and to design the policies and procedures and a, a food guide, a nutrients guide for people with um, um, with people with diabetes, people with heart disease. And then we have a very um, Deca has a very strong um, research. Well, while we mention the research here, just because we have a very renowned and strong research, and these people and these professors, they are teaching into our nutrition course. Um, so I want to finish with, uh, with I want to finish today with give you um, give our audience a couple of example mm -hmm. um, about what Deca research has been done. So in 2019, study from Deakin University found taking 500 milligrams of vitamin C twice daily can help people with type 2, uh, type two diabetes. Mm. That's yeah. a very interesting research mm -hmm. and actually <clears throat> that have a big impact on people with type 2, type two diabetes. Mm. And just this year, a few a couple of weeks ago, uh, Deakin University is a warning parent not feed children too much about packaging food. Mm. <laughs> so packaging food, they might say, oh, we are very healthy. But packaging food, some, some packaging food are very over-processed and they are not really healthy for children. Oh. So we encourage parents actually give children fresh food yeah. um, instead of packaging food. That's right, that's right. Mm. Um, and last year, um, um, we joined the lockdown, and you know, joined the, um, a lot of country or cities in lockdown. People actually were just having bought a lot of convenient packaging food. But actually, packaging food do create a problem, and uh, create a problem for health. Actually, they make people actually fat and and uh, sick. Hmm. Um, what uh, I'm proud here to say that we have a food and a mood center. That we have a research study how food impacts our mental health. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a that's a really interesting department. They're doing all kind of um, research, and they actually advised the government about uh, why food is important and why nutri nutrition is important because it's not just impacts our general health, but also impact on human brain, mood, and mental health. Um, I hope I have provided enough information about our nutrition course. And um, there's so much to talk about about health course at the Data University. Um, because we, um, we only have one hour, um, yeah. so I'm not going to touch the other courses today. Mm -hmm. um, but however, if there's a report and account, if you receive more requests yes. talking about other courses like psychology um, uh, or exercise sports science, um, we, I'm happy to be invited again for your next session. Yep. Um, so we talk about, I uh, just talk about undergraduate course in nutrition science, and there's a several pathways available as well. So yes. students complete undergraduate nutrition, they can study Master of Dietetics. Yep. So Master of Dietetics qualifies students to be a qualified dietitian working in Australia. Mm. Dietitian we uh, often call as a nutrition that they more act like doctor. Mm -hmm. They prescribe <coughs> they prescribed actually um, a food recipe to patients. So many of them work in the hospitals and the mm -hmm. clinics. Yeah. Students who didn't study any undergraduate course in food or nutrition, but they still want to be a nutrition nutritionist. Deakin University offers a master of nutrition 
and the population health that mm. also helps students to be a to be a qualified nutritionist in Australia without go through undergraduate degree. Mm. So master degree is a two years degree for students that they want to study master course and they want to be a nutritionist. And uh, do you, uh, Ling? Sorry to interrupt. Uh, what's the IELTS entry requirement for master of nutrition and populate population health? Is six point five. I also six point five and no band less than six. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Yes. That's all from me today. Thank you very much um, for listening to me. Yep. Thank you, Lin. Thank you, Lin. Thank you. Okay, so very Yvonne, you have some questions. I, I before I have some question, but Lin already explained explain whole <laughs> everything. So now I, I'm I'm thinking what kind of question we can have but probably later on when we launch the the video then we will have more questions then we will uh, ask Ling and uh, Susie again okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right thank you guys uh, that was uh, that was wonderful uh, so what we're gonna do we will close for the session today and I thank you for participating and share with all these information yep. uh, and sure now um, 那感谢大家花时间来跟我们观赏这一部我们今天跟迪肯的大学的一个介绍那当然我们欢迎观众朋友们如果有任何的问题的话再留言给我们或直接跟我们联系喽那我们今天就到这里了谢谢大家谢